We are going to consider some classical inter-process communication problems. In the dining philosophers problem, we have M philosophers spend their lives thinking and eating in a room. In their round table, each have their place full of spaghetti and end forks. They need two forks to eat. This is the placement of the place of the philosophers and their forks on the table. From time to time, a philosopher gets hungry. She tries to pick up the two forks that are on her right and her left. A philosopher may pick one fork at a time. A philosopher that picks both forks successfully starts eating. When a philosopher finishes eating, she puts down both of her forks to their original position and starts thinking again. Write a program which does not let any philosopher to die due to hunger. That is, no deadlocks. Here's a candidate solution for the dining philosopher's problem. N is defined as five, which is the number of philosophers. Fork is an array of type semaphore. The size is N. There's a semaphore for each fork, each to be initialized to one. Void philosopher parameter integer i, which philosopher zero to n minus one. There is infinity loop while true. In the loop, think this is corresponding the philosopher is thinking. It is non-critical section. Then to enter the critical section, down fork i, take left fork, down fork i plus one, mod n, so circularly the forks are numbered, take right fork, after left and right forks are grabbed, eat, this is corresponding to critical section, eat spaghetti, then up fork i, and up fork i plus one, mod n, put left fork, and put right fork. This is the exit code from the critical section. Unfortunately, this program fails. There is deadlock when all philosophers take their left forks simultaneously. None of them will be able to get their right forks, and so they will starve. Another solution candidate is define N5, semaphore forks. Here there is a single semaphore, a semaphore to be initialized to one. Void philosopher integer i, again, philosopher number is the parameter. While true, inf in infinity loop, think as before. And here, down forks, there is a single semaphore. This is corresponding to take both forks, left and right. Eat, this is critical section. Up forks, leave both forks. This is a solution, but it is a low performance one. Only one philosopher can dine at a time. Here a solution is given. This is solving the problem without deadlock. The following program uses an array called state to keep track of whether a philosopher is eating, thinking or hungry, that is trying to acquire forks. A philosopher may move into eating state only if neither neighbor is eaten. The neighbors are defined by the macros left and right. Define n as 6 number of philosophers. Define left i minus 1 mod n philosopher i's left neighbor. Define right i plus 1 mod n philosopher i's right neighbor. Define thinking as 0. This is mode of thinking. Define hungry as one, mode of hunger. Define eating as two. This is mode of eating. Type def integer semaphore. Semaphores are a special kind of integer. Integer state n, array to keep track of states. Semaphore mutex, which is initialized to one. Mutual exclusion for testing. Semaphore. S and one semaphore per philosopher. Here is the code for philosopher. Integer i is the parameter. 
I is showing which philosopher I has value from zero to n minus one. While true, this is infinity loop. Think, philosopher is thinking. Take forks, I. Acquire two forks or block. I is the parameter. Eat, eat spaghetti, critical section. Put forks, I. Put both forks back. I is again parameter. The code for take forks, I is parameter. Again, I is showing which philosopher it is. Down mutex, enter critical section. State I, hungry. Record that the philosopher is hungry. Test I. Try to acquire both forks in the left and right. Up mutex, leave critical section, down SI. Block if forks were not acquired. Here in the test, if both forks are available, they are taken and semaphore for the philosopher is increased. An up operation, an up operation on semaphore SI is applied because of that if forks are available by the down operation, the process will able to continue. Otherwise, if up is not applied in test operation, then it will wait here until the test for the philosopher in the left or right updates the value of the semaphore by the up operation. Here is the code for put forks for philosopher I, down mutex, enter critical section, state I, thinking, philosopher has finished eating, so philosopher can't think, test left, so the test operation is applied on behalf of the philosopher in the left. See if the left neighbor can eat now. Test right, the same operation for the one in the right. See if the right neighbor can eat now. Up mutex, leave critical section. Here is the test operation for the philosophers. Parameter is integer i, showing for which philosopher it is called. If state i is hungry, the philosopher is hungry. State left, the philosopher in the left, not eating. State right, the philosopher in the right, not eating. Then, if this condition is satisfied, state I is set as eating, and semaphore for the philosopher I is increased. So, if the philosopher was waiting at this step by taking the forks, after that, it will able to continue because now the value of the semaphore is one and then it is decreased to zero by the down operation. Another classical inter-process communication problem is readers and writers problem. Imagine a big database such as airline reservation system with many competing processes wishing to read and write. Multiple processes can read database at the same time. If one process is written to the database, no other processes may have access to the database, not even readers. We have several readers, M readers in the system trying to read, and also N writers. Readers only read, more than one reader can read at the same time, but meanwhile, there should be no writer writing into the database. For the writers, only one writer can write at a time, while this writer is trying to write. In that case, the other writers should not be writing into the database. Also, there should be no reader accessing the database at the same time. This is the solution for the readers and writers problem in which seven force are used. Type definition, integer semaphore. Semaphore mutex, initialize to one. This one controls access to RC. RC is the number of processes reading at the same time, and read count is initially set to zero. Another semaphore is 
semafor bu text db which is initialized to one this one controls access to database the code for writer as follows think up data this is corresponding to non critical section done mu text db get exclusive access to the database while writing write database update the database this is corresponding to critical section and up mu text db this is exit code for the critical section release exclusive Access. So by this down and up operation on the mutex DB, if there is a writer in the critical section writing the database, no other writer is allowed to write at the same time. Remember that it's also required if a writer is writing, no reader should be reading at the same time. This is the code for the reader I. Read database is accessing the data for reading. Just before it, we have done mutex db to prevent reading data if there is a writer at the same time, and up mutex db after the critical section, and then use data read. This is non-critical section of the code. Down mutex db operation blocks other readers. However, if a reader is reading the database. It should not prevent other readers to read the database. More than one reader can access the database at the same time. As the solution, we are using a variable RC. This is the count for readers. RC is set to RC plus one, which was initialized to zero. So only for the first reader, done text will be applied. If there is a writer, then this first reader will wait in the step. We are checking whether this is the first reader. Then in the critical section, we have read database as before. After finishing the critical section, read count is decremented by one. One reader, fewer now. If read count is zero, that means that there is no more reader. Up mutex db, we are checking whether this is the last reader. So after that point on, any writer can access the database if they are waiting. Use data read. This is not critical section. However, we have another problem here. Notice that read count RC is common to readers. So reading and updating RC should be protected in critical section. Because of that, we are using another mutual exclusion semaphore called mutex. Therefore, while we are accessing the read count and also checking it, this is a critical section between the readers. We are using down mutex to get exclusive access to read count. And when this critical section finishes, there is up mutex to release exclusive access to read count. Again, this line is same. We are applying down operation on mutex db when rc is 1. This part is just as before. After the critical section of the readers reading the database, again, we are going to access the read count to decrement it. And also, if, if this is the last reader to up mutex db, therefore, we have down mutex just before the critical section on read count and we have up mutex after this critical section between the readers. This line is same before. Use data read. This is the non-critical section. There is one more classical inter-process communication problem called sleeping barber problem. The barber shop has one barber, one barber chair and N chairs for waiting customers. If any, to sit in. If there is no customer at present, the barber is sit down in the barber chair and falls asleep. When a customer arrives, he has to wake up the sleeping barber. If the additional customers arrive while the barber is cutting a customer's hair, they either sit down if there is an empty chair or leave the shop if all chairs are full. The problem is to program the barber 
and the customers without getting into race conditions or deadlocks. Here is the solution for the sleeping barber problem using semaphores. Define chairs 5, number of chairs for waiting customers. Type define integer semaphore. Semaphore customers initialize to 0, number of customers. Semaphore barbers initialize to 0, number of barbers waiting for customers. Semaphore mutex initialize to 1 for mutual exclusion for waiting. Waiting is an integer initialized to zero. This is showing customers are waiting, not being haircut. The code for the barber. It has infinite loop, while true, down customers. Go to sleep if number of customers is zero. When a customer arrives, it will increase the customer's mutex, so this will able to continue. And then it has down mutex, Acquire access to waiting. Waiting is decremented by one. Decrement count of waiting customers. Up barbers. One barber is now ready to cut hair. Up mutex. Release waiting. Cut hair. This is non-critical section. Notice that each barber arriving to the shop runs the barber code. Here is the code for the customer. Each customer arrives to system, runs this code. Void customer, void. Down mutex, enter critical section. If waiting less than chairs, if there is an empty chair, then set waiting to waiting plus one. Increment count of waiting customers. Up customers, wake up barber if necessary. Up mutex. Release access to waiting. Down barbers. Wait if no free barbers. This is check if there is available barber. Wait if no free barbers. Get haircut. Non-critical section. As that means that waiting is not less than chairs. In that case, up mutex. Shop is full. Do not wait. Exit shop.